Good evening, cosmonauts, Akashians, or any Web3 interested people. Today, we're going to learn how to build an SDO or a stack definition language file to deploy it on the Akash network. So in the last video, we actually, together, we made uh, an app requirements file and uh, a basic UI to interact with the BERT-based multilingual uncased sentiment model from Hugging Face. And we also, of course, built a Docker image out of that and pushed that to a Docker repo. Now, how do we deploy this image on Akash? Well, we need to create an SDO. Um, again, for those who don't know Akash, this is a decentralized cloud computing marketplace where you can run applications in a secure and very scalable way. And uh, in this, the SDL file is a key component to deploy your applications on Akash. So it's a YAML file that actually describes the services that this application will need to run, the resources it requires, and how it should be deployed. It's sort of like a blueprint for your application, all right? So here we have the project directory. Uh, of course, yeah, like I said, we have Docker file app in here. Um, of course, our S the thing is, our SDL file is gonna reference the Docker image that we built in the previous video, video. And that image contains all the application and all its dependencies. We built it, everything into that image, right? Um, and let's just, let's just get into writing the YAML file, all right? Nano deploy.yaml. So you can find all kinds of examples of different YAML files and deploy files you, to use on the Akash, awesome Akash repo. This is of course my fork, but um, there's all kinds of references here. So yeah, but if you go into any one of them, they should have uh, some kind of deploy file for you to use. I have a good reference that I've used for building other apps right here. And the unique thing about these new SDL files for the GPU network is that there's an exciting part right here where you, uh, you label what GPUs you need, how many, and what model, which is pretty cool. Not many people doing this right now. And so, uh, yeah, this is going to be our reference. Oh, I posted it, I pasted it into the console, but we need to actually add it to our repository first. So we're no longer, first things first, um, we got the services section, right? So this is actually where we're going to define the Docker image to be used, which is uh, the one we built earlier in the last video. It's okay if you don't remember, because I actually barely remember myself. It's Bert. Bert sentiment analysis, I believe. Yeah, that's what it is. Bert sentiment analysis version one, okay? And uh, these are the ports that we're gonna use to interact with it. All right, in the profile section, here we're actually defining the compute resources our deployment uh, requires. So this includes CPU, memory, and storage, as well as any other needs, and in our case, like I said, we want we want this GPU. This is the special thing about this uh, new marketplace, about this this whole thing that you can rent out GPUs now and you can run complex things like AI models more easily. Okay, and uh, lastly, we got the deployment section, which is where we define how our application should be deployed. So here you could in, you could specify a number of replicas or instances or of our application. Um, in this case, we just we just need one. And it's not Roberto, it's uh, Bert Sentiment. So I actually have to, I have to replace all, all versions of, of uh, Roberto. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this and then uh, get back to you. All right, so I went ahead and replaced all instances of Roberto with Bert Sentiment Analysis in the deploy YAML file. And uh, at this point, it should actually be ready to uh, to run on the Akash network itself. So let me just make this a little bigger so we can copy and paste all of it. And uh, yeah, let me go ahead and save this. And now let's delete that. And what do we got? We got the full SDO right here ready to go. So there's a couple things that you gotta actually keep in mind before running your SDL. Um, it's gonna go ahead and run, uh, it's gonna it's gonna run some checks right now as we create the deployment, okay? 
Uh, wallet's got to be connected, of course. You need some. In this case, I'm on the Akash GPU testnet. I got a couple tokens here. Uh, yeah, I got enough. The SDL is valid, and you also need to generate a certificate, which, depending on which platform you're using, um, yeah, will be uh, will be here in the settings. And uh, yeah, if you're doing this on the testnet, of course, you'll also have to pay attention to which uh, RPC testnet endpoint you're connected to, and that you're on the right network. In this case, I'm on the testnet, right? Um, oops, I lost my deployment. It's okay. It should still be on my clipboard. It is. Let's deploy it. Let's get into it. Yeah, we're gonna. This is this is the sentimental bird. It's the variant to burn. Yes, yes, yes. Go ahead. Pay a small transaction fee to rent out GPUs from top tier providers. Here we we already got a couple bids. This is on testnet. Look at that. I'm gonna go ahead and use the provider.akashtest.com. Supl submit deploy request. Now it's deploying. And uh, yeah, so we're taking again. We're we're taking that Docker image that we made last video. We're referencing it in a SDL, and uh, which is the deploy.yaml file we created. And now we're giving this SDL to this provider to take it apart and understand what's going on. So here in the Akash console, um, you can see some of the events going on. So. It's getting ready, created a pod to actually run the container, it's assigned, uh, assigned um, this pod to run my container, and now it's pulling the image. And if you'll recall, this is a pretty large image. I think it was almost five gigs. So this is gonna take a little while. Um, but yeah, you can already navigate here. You can see that this will produce some application logs in a bit once the container's up and running. Uh, and yeah, we'll, uh, we'll get there soon. All right, so good news. The deploy YAML file, we created our very own BERT sentimental analysis model has been deployed. And you can see here all the events that led up to that. It involves pulling the image, syncing in, successfully pulled, creating the container, starting the container. And if we uh, check out the logs here, you can see some of the packages that they actually had to download in order to, uh, you know, run the model. This includes some of the dependencies that we included earlier, right? Torch transformers, these kind of things. So let's look at the basic UI we built. Super, super minimalistic. Here we got a little text box. I'll just text here, analyze. This product gave me a fever for three weeks. Analyze, very negative. This product changed my life for the better. Let's analyze that again very positive Mwah, this product is okay neutral so you can see that our sentiment analysis model is in fact working deployed on akash um, i'll also include a link to the repo uh, and to the yaml that we used here and um, yeah this is a big success i think and uh, it's looking pretty bullish for akash overall and feel free to message me on twitter uh, slash Clyde Dev or on Telegram, Clyde Dev there as well. Uh, if you have any other questions, and aside from that, thank you.